This is the sound of clean air. A commuter traveling to work without putting any soot into the sky. Unfortunately, this is what he's driving through. Smog, thick with those nasty particulates that we merely see as a brown cloud. Yet, with each breath, tiny particles are clinging to the lining of our lungs and will be trapped there. On a red air day, um, the air is virtually equivalent to smoking, you know, approximately a half a pack of cigarettes. The air quality in Salt Lake City is frequently ranked the worst in the nation during a bad winter inversion, worse than Los Angeles. And no one will argue that needs to change. But how? It's not that easy. You can't just pass a bill and suddenly change everything. But several lawmakers are taking small steps, hoping to make a difference. Utah State Representative Patrice Aaron called for a special task force during the 2012 legislative session to come up with solutions to improve the air, which in turn led to the formation of an economic task force. The group just gave its recommendations to the legislature. Their suggestions include a public awareness campaign and bringing on a state resource sustainability director to coordinate community efforts to curtail emissions. The group recommended other measures that would beef up enforcement of code violations and provide financial incentives to encourage the use of cleaner burning vehicles. Some public and private organizations are already taking significant steps to reduce the toxins in the air. For example, this bus runs on natural gas. UTA has introduced 10 CNG buses to its fleet, with four more on the way. When you look at a day like today with inversion, as we begin to replace these diesel buses with CNG, clean fuel buses, at least UTA will be doing its part in terms of pollution and, and what, uh, what impacts we have on our, on our air. In the city of Taylorsville, commute time is lessened on one of the busiest roadways, 5300 South. During the morning and evening rush hour, the direction of the traffic flow shifts to accommodate those going to work and those traveling home. The flex lanes are absolutely moving traffic through easier. We, have, we used to have all kinds of weights out here in front and now the traffic flow is definitely improved. That means less time stalled in stop and go traffic and fewer toxic emissions rising into the air. Synchronized stoplights also reduce time on the roads and commuters like them. Kennecott implemented a system to cut idling among its fleet of trucks. And so that helps us really curb our idling, and we've extended that into our haul trucks as well. Kennecott has also created a sustainable living option in its new daybreak community with transportation, trails, schools, gyms, stores and restaurants, even a lake. In Salt Lake City and other cities, bike lanes are becoming safer and easier to travel. And trails are being improved all around us, like along the Jordan River and Bonneville Shoreline Trail. Some businesses, like this UTA hub in downtown Salt Lake City, offer showers and bikes to rent and ride to work. For those folks who ride their own, there's secure storage available there. Now a look outside of Utah presents even more possibilities. Some cities are banning wood-burning fireplaces in new construction. And there are things you can do that will make a difference. Trade in those two-stroke snow and leaf blowers and lawn mowers for electric models. Add a few leafy plants inside your home, and maybe a few HEPA filters, especially in children's rooms. On bad air days, keep the doors shut and windows shut. Change your car filter and keep your furnace filter clean. It's not impossible to clean up the gunk in the air, and we have made huge strides over the years. Over the last, say, 30, 40 years, we have made improvements. And if we continue to do that, uh, you know, I'm optimistic that we can actually have uh, excellent economic activity, we can have very, very high quality lifestyles, and we can do it in communities that have clean air. And that begins by each of us taking action right now. For the Utah League of Cities and Towns, I'm Susan Wood.